cleaning my mirror, so y'all be trying to come for me saying my mirror dirty. Not gonna. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Today we're doing a little bit of self care video. I've been promising this for a long time, so we're gonna get into it. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with a little shave down. Gotta get some of this off my mug. Already, that's looking better. I also use this tool. Kind of line up the beard and keep it neat and clean. Also, use a comb to shave down levels, like this mustache. Gotta tilt it out. Three hands from the bridge just by pulling it out and combing it out and going around the perimeter like so. I trim the edges. Do your best to keep your beard and hair combed while cutting. I recently got to read to it, so take lightly taper my temples, and that's easily achieved by putting this in, angling out, taking it quickly. Around the mouth line up, you just want to hit it once or twice. Angle. Tip if you want a closer shave on the cheek, blow into it. And let the clippers ride the surface. Many hours later, my skin is a little bit dry from the friction from shaving. So we're gonna make sure we put that moisture back after we cleanse. One of the things that I make sure that I do, since I have somewhat of a condition of seborrheic dermatitis, I use products that have a moisturizing agent, especially as I cleanse that off. I've stopped using scrubs and stuff like that because those tend to dry me out more and cause micro tears. What I've opted to do instead is use more natural products. Let's just go through a few of the products that I use. So a lot of folks been asking me, what do you use on your face? What do you use to keep it maintained and you know manage your skin? The work that goes into this. It's a process. African black soap. Just like this. It may not look that appealing, but it does wonder for my skin. This little silicone scrubby. In the winter time though, I swear by CeraVe's Hydrating Cleanser. This is a CeraMe with Hyaluronic Acid. I've learned to wet my face with this one, 
massage this in, let it tone down a little bit, re-wet it again, and work it up. Then rinse it. I use these better for me. We're not gonna use this one today. Aww. As of late, I've been giving Curology a try. You basically go through a questionnaire, they ask you questions about your skin, and then a certified dermatologist develops a formula for you. This is my formula for me, for the niacinamide and trinexamic acid, and then this is the moisturizer and the cleanser. This video is not sponsored by Curology, I just wanna show with you guys what I've been using. Also, what I was using for a while, and I still stand by this because I've seen great results. The Ordinary. So, this is the salicyclic acid mask. I haven't experienced any breakouts, so I'm not using this one often. Put that one back. AHA 30 and BHA 2% peeling solution. This is what's affectionately called the blood facial. As you can see, this juice <laughs> looks like pomegranate. The inside looks like palm juice, or when it's applied to the skin, it looks like blood. I use this sparingly as well, maybe once or twice a month, if that. I haven't been using it at all lately. This tends to cause a little bit of drying on my skin because it's technically taking off, it's exfoliating your top layer and exposing the new layer. So I experience uh, some sloughing, or better yet, some exfoliation, which can be a little irritating because it'll look like I just have skin just coming up out of nowhere, which technically that's what it's supposed to do, but mine just seems to last a little longer. Last but not least, I swear by this. This is a hyaluronic acid, and as you can see, we only got a little bit. I usually use this as a hydrating acid. This is a hydration support formula, so what I'll usually do is after I've washed my face, while it's semi damp, put a little bit of this on, concentrating under the eyes and, uh, and in my areas where I usually get dry, and then put a moisturizer on top. For a while, I was using Lumen, and I actually like Lumen. It's like it's the same thing of kind of a personalized skin regimen, and I used to use this a lot at night. I was using this before when I was doing a few of my videos. As you can see, I've used a lot of it, if not mostly all of it. And what I noticed is this is very good for keeping you moisturized. However, I came up greasy on film. So I have to dial back on this one and I usually use this at night. It includes a premium grade moisturizer, dark circle defense under eyes because yes as men fellas we still get dark circles we still get a lot of the conditions that women we are people right and then this is the anti-wrinkle defense for smile lines crow's feet etc i don't have many of those thankfully but I do have smile lines that occur underneath my eyes just because I'm a chubby faced guy. And when I smile, it bunches up. So that's just what it is. For a while I thought these were bagged and sometimes they can get baggy when I've not had enough sleep talking about these lines here, but they're smile lines because I got a fat face and that skin needs somewhere to go. And I smile and I smile and laugh a lot. So boom, there you go.